our sins and nailed them to a tree. And any time you could have come down, but your love kept you. over the minds of your people. And we call every wandering child back home. We pray for every struggle, Lord God, in every, in every home, Lord God, and, and people know that everything ain't always perfect in the house. But we serve a holy God, and we invite you back to the house, God. Don't leave us. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. We ask everyone that you would help us as we are blessed with our opening song. We thank God for a, a, a praise team that just came together just a few minutes ago to God in glory. Amen. Because everything, everything will always work by script. But it works together for good. Yes. Yes. So let us sing them unto the Lord. And then I'm going to ask uh, Minister Weaver to bless us with our scripture. And I want to ask oh, yeah. the other two if you can come and lead us in prayer today. Oh, yeah.
just an opportunity. <laughs> it's just an opportunity, Pastor. God's not caught by surprises. <laughs> and he warns us against it. Being anxious when things change and are different. Amen. I'm coming from Luke 12 this morning. Beginning at 22 through 34. Please read with me. Uh, when Christ warns against earthly anxieties. When things seem to be different and we get all upset. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've lived long enough to know that, hey, there's always something. You have to be grounded. You have to be fixed in what, who you believe in. Amen? And don't let these things throw you. I saw the we pastor got up here at this pulpit and he began to have service. And he began to praise God. Amen. It's God Almighty. And I praise him too. My pastor praise him and I can praise him. Amen. He didn't let it shake him. I love it. 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 These are earthly things. Amen. God is all mine. And I know he is. So let's read it. And he said unto his disciples, I'm at, I'm sorry, Luke 12, we were going, we're going to begin at 22, we're going to read through 34. And he speaks on Christ warns against earthly anxieties. Get upset about everything. Don't do it. He warned us against it. Let's begin to read. He said, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat, yeah. neither for the body what you shall put on. Amen. More than the meat, and the body more than the raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. What? Amen. And God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, which taken thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If he then be not able to do that with his least, why take ye thought of the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They tall not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe ye, O ye of little faith? And seek ye not what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourself a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, which no thief approaches, neither moth corrupt. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen. I think that scripture says it all. We have no one to add to that. The Lord said, don't worry about a thing. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Birds don't worry. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes I get out there, amen, and I have my breakfast in the field over there next to the where, where you park your car and, and I watch the birds. Oh, yes. And I begin to feed the birds. I, my goodness. I throw a little food out there and they all come like raving mad to get that food. You know? Yeah. Amen. But you know, if I didn't do that, if I didn't give the food, God would always see that the birds would get their food. That's what that scripture is telling us. Amen. And so we thank God. He cares for the birds. He cares for animals. And he cares much more 
for you and I. So why worry? Let, 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 let things go on, but try to stay calm and peaceful and in the Sabbath like we spoke on this morning because God does not want you with so much anxiety. That scripture was so powerful, letting us know that, amen, not to worry about anything. You, you go home and read that scripture again. The Lord meant to tell us not to worry about a thing. And so we praise God for that. Father, we thank you for these that have come to your house. We've come, Lord, because we come to receive of you, Lord, that which the people of God will have, Lord. Even fellowshipping with one another, we receive something, Lord. But most of all, because your word is going to be spoken, Lord, and we're going to receive of you, Lord, what we need to receive on this day. We thank you for another week, Lord. You've kept us another week, Lord. And we praise you for that, Lord. We are, oh Lord, joyful that you enable us to come into your house one more time. And it is to praise your holy and righteous name, Lord. It is to forget about everything that ever happened this week, Lord. And take it to the altar and leave it there. Just, oh God, to ask you to look on us, Lord. Remember those that are sick, Lord, that may not be able to come here today. And, oh God, remember those that are in need today, Lord. Because you are able, if you supply the birds, if you supply, oh God, all of your creation, you can supply us also, Lord, with what we need. Hallelujah. And if we seek you first, Lord, all those things will be added. And so we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for just being here today, Lord, because you are God, and beside you there is none other, Lord. We searched all over, we could not find anyone that would do for us what you do for us, Lord. And we thank you for that, Father. Bless us today, Lord. Remember those that are going to listen to this service, Lord. Lord Jesus, give them what they need today, Lord. Whether in song or in words, give it to them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. If anyone's sick that's listening to us, Lord, let them be healed. Even by listening to the service, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we give you all the praise. And we give you all the honor this morning. Hallelujah. Because you are so good. You are so wonderful. So marvelous. So awesome. In our sight. And we thank you for it, Lord. Glory to God. Let the people praise you, Lord. Let all the people praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
in that it's okay to be interactive when we come into the house of the Lord. You don't have to sit and keep your mouth closed. I, I, was, I was taught that a closed hand and a closed mouth, they don't put nothing in it and I don't get fed. Amen. Amen. And I, and I want to let you know that God has everything that we need. Yes. And you can leave here still empty. Yes. Because you want to open your hands. And you want to open your mouth to be filled. So I don't know what you come to do this morning. Maybe, maybe you're not hungry. But I'm hungry for the living God to have his way. Yes. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm become a little tired of empty religion. Where we, where we come in and we leave just as empty as we came. Because we didn't come looking for nothing. It ain't going to come through the preacher. It's not going to come through the song. It's not going to come through the ushers being so wonderful to greet you. But it's going to come when you put a yes in your heart and you go after the things of God. They can't go by the new But at this time, our praise team is going to bless us in a song. After that song, we're going to come back and declare to you what God has given to us. Whether you know it or not, uh, myself and my wife, we miss being here on last Sunday. We miss y'all. Amen. Thank God. Thank God is doing great things in the midst of Shiloh. Uh, and the only reason why that that we miss it is because we ain't expecting it. But, but we can sit on Facebook and see right. God moving. Right. We see yeah. God moving. We see God All right. doing a lot of things. All right. and, and, and it was like we were right here in the building. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. The songwriter said, I'm expecting uh -huh. great things. Well, if you, right. never, if you never expect that anything out of anybody, you won't get it. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 And I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not expecting it. I'm not expecting it from you because your hands ain't big enough to supply what God has for me. And my hands are not big enough yes. to supply what God wants for me. But we gotta go before a full fountain and say, God, pour in. Well, 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 well. Don't Please, Lord. Lord. Let, let me just finish, finish with this in the praise team. Don't miss what God really wants to do for you right. today. All right. All right. Because you can get distracted right in the house. Yes. 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 Oh my God. Yes. 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 You can you can be going through so much that you replay it over and over in your head and your mind. To the point where God is saying, if you give it to me, I'll turn it over. But you keep playing in your head and say, nobody understands, nobody knows. And God said, I do understand, yeah. I do know, and if you give it to me, I'm able to fix it. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes. Right. There's, there's, there's three people in here that you believe in God to fix some stuff in your house. Yes, yes, yes. Glory. But you can't. But let me tell you what's going to happen. The deliverance is going to come when you stop talking about it and uh, start praying about it. Yeah. 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 Because, because, if you, if, because if you could change it, uh -huh. it will already be changed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you not, can you not believe that God will allow some stuff to pop off in yes, your sir. house yeah. so you will trust him more? Yes. Yeah. 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 Come on, yeah. come on, praise yeah. thing. Come on, praise yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah.
that because, because it was prophecy. God was prophesying to you. Because you done made up your mind that it ain't going to change. It's been like this for a long time. I just learned how to deal with it. But the devil is a liar. God said he ain't going to deal with this no more.
He said, all y'all got to do is just stand. Yes, and man. just stand yes. first. And let God work. Yes, and we will, but our ministry will grow. Yes, he said, but you, me, I got to step out on faith more than I ever have in my life. Amen. Oh, so, Amen. I just praise God this morning. Lord, I just praise God this morning. Amen. 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 And I want to come to church this morning. Thank you. I didn't start getting ready until 9 o'clock. Wow. Because I didn't smell good. But after, when I was in the bathroom, I looked in the mirror and God said to me, You go. Because yes, so. today is the day. You wow. go.
going to read about three verses. St. John chapter 15, I mean chapter 21, verse 15. So when they had died, Jesus said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, wow. lovest thou me more than these? Oh and he said unto him, Yeah, Lord, you know that I love thee. Mm -hmm. He said unto him, Feed my legs. Oh, yes. Said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of John, love thou me. Yes, Lord. <laughs> he said unto him, he said, Lord, you know that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. Uh, said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter said, Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. And Jesus said unto him, feed my sheep. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, you do not know that you have family members and friends who are starving to death because you won't feed them. All right. You come to church every Sunday, you receive the word of God, you receive teaching. But we're not faithful to share it. We're not faithful to live it out in front of them. Because, because when we go home, you do know that family will tell on you. Yes, they will. Whether you live it right or not. Y'all yeah. ain't gonna hear me. And some of the reason why some of them won't come to church is because of how you let them ah, right. Because they're saying if, if, if you're going in and you're coming out like you're coming out, and you're coming in back to the house and you haven't changed a bit, what's the use in me? Going into a place where you're not even changing. Y'all do know that we all still need to change even if we're saved. There are some areas in my life right now, and I ain't going to talk about you, I'm talking about me. There are some areas in my life that I know that I need God's hands on. And it showed up in a great way on my travels to Mississippi. All right. Wow. I thought I kind of had the uh, the little anger stuff kind of calmed down uh -uh. until I'm driving <laughs> and then people cut me off and jumping in front of me. All right. yeah. Yeah. And on Interstate 20 and on I-85 yes, and on I-10, I'm blowing the horn at them, driving up the side and looking at them and oh. getting them all kind of stuff. And I'm talking about Yo,
wallow in it, you dwell in it, you make it even worse by doing some more extra to go along and, and find yourself drifting and drifting to the point where there's no conviction and all of a sudden now you just act out any kind of way and, you don't, and it don't even matter because there's nothing that will convict you to stop. Yes. And then when you get so far away that you're still trying to turn on your Christian, the spidey senses that you turn on your big cedar to try to act like a Christian and there is no power because the light won't come on. And the reason why is because it wasn't God that moved, but you have drifted far away. But can I tell y'all that even if you drift far away, if you ask God to forgive you, he is faithful. Turn the computer off and turn it 
turn it back on and see won't it come back up to the point where the joy of all will begin to be your strength again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I went to Webster, it said that a reboot means to restart a system yeah. after it has malfunctioned or to start again. Yes, I do. Yes. Anybody in here can truly be honest that in your life since you've been a since you've been a Christian, that you needed God to give you another chance. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, you know, I heard it all my God and God the second chance. But I found the chief of God of another chance. and give me a chance to make a choice yes, do it right yes. Yes. do it again yes. but I know I'm talking to a group of people yes. who are strong Christians yes. but we all need a holy yes. reboot yes. we need God we need God to change yes. some things in us yes. We need God yeah. to work on us. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Father. Oh, yeah. Yes. Because I'm going to tell you what I found out is, is that it can't be just about church attendance. No. Amen. Amen. No. Amen. No. Amen. No. Because God, God, God said you can be in, you can be in church and you can die and go to hell through it by the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With title. With position, uh, yes. but not with a change of heart. Yes. But God, God wants to re reboot our heart that we will love Him like we're supposed to love Him, and love each other like we're supposed to love each other. Yes. In the book of Philippians, chapter four, there were two women that were at odds with one another. Mm -hmm. Just seemed like they couldn't get along. And there was a letter written that said, I need y'all to step in and help these sisters out. Yes. Because, because, because they are at odds with one another and it's not and it's affecting the growth of the church. Yes. Amen. All right. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, if there, if there are, if, I don't know, if there are issues within the ministry, within people, then, then if you know about it, you ought to help those brothers and help those sisters. Yes. 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 Slam the door shut. Amen. Well, and one of the ways is, is that we don't let animosity, we don't let differences. Be bigger than the call of God on our lives. Yeah. We will not let jealousy yeah. or anything. That's why the scripture said, I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I'm not going to let I'm not going to let you not liking me. Go let me let that separate me from the love of God because, because it's not about you liking me, it's not about me liking you, it's about us loving. Each other and loving God. Yeah. We, not, we, not know, we not know that we can't we can't effectively yeah. minister to the lost. You can't. You cannot. When there's opposition, My God. animosity All right. in the house, it ain't gonna happen. When, when, when you secretly, when you secretly, you don't say it out loud to the person, but you secretly go behind their back instead of you got an issue with them. I know this ain't gonna be no hollering, jumping, preaching, but but I, I want to talk to us because because God want to correct some stuff. He want to give us a do-over because because He's calling us to 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 kingdom work. Yeah. Amen. Not church work. Amen. Some of us have gotten wrong. We think we think it's about this building. Oh. If this building burned down, 
Do you still do ministry? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the keyboard breaks down and then you can't play music and the organ won't work, will you still clap your hands and lift your hands and sing praise and worship Lord? Yes, sir. Do you not know that I believe in my heart that God challenges us sometimes yes, to allow us to see yes, where we really are? Yes. As a ministry? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Sometimes he'll have people not, not giving so that the money will be a little funny to see if we're going to trust God and still have faith in God. Can I tell you that's where we are right now? Yes, sir. But God keep on helping us to favor like this. Even when we're going to hold your money back and hold it. Yes, sir. But I want to tell you something that I know for a fact. You will never hold God's ministry hostage. All right, man. But what you do is you don't do it. Y'all looking at me kind of funny, talking about, oh, he, well, he, they, no, I don't 
ain't nothing. I'm just trying to tell you that, I, that I'm not walking scared. Because, because what, what's been happening is what's been happening is, is that the enemy won't want the pastor to walk on eggshell because we don't want to hurt nobody feel and we don't want nobody to be upset. And the problem is that you ought to be upset. Come on. Anytime you say you're a child of God and you sit back and you will not work and do what God tells you to do, then you're looking for things to fail. A charge to keep I have a God to glorify. Everybody is supposed to be playing their role to make sure that the kingdom is lifted. That's why you have to come out of darkness. Yes. You got you can't you can't play this church thing. Whatever we do for the master, it has to be real. But he said Satan wants to destroy you, Peter. But I pray for you. And when you are converted, you ain't got it now. But you're going to get it. When you are converted, when you are changed, when you are empowered, I don't want you to walk around like a proud peacock like you, like somebody that ought to bow down to you. He said, when, when I give you what, you what you need, he said, I want you to take it and strengthen your brother. For the life of me, I can't understand when God blesses us with something. We get brand new. Okay. When God opens the door, all of a sudden now, we're deeper than everybody else. When God gives you revelation, he said, I didn't give you revelation so everybody can be over there in odds with or within all of you. He said, I, I gave you revelation so you can pour it out so other people can be. Because we got this feeling that if I don't do it, it don't get done. Oh. Last Sunday, I was in Mississippi and ministry still got done. Yes. Yes. So let me know that God can do it with me. But he said, I love you, Peter, and, and, and Satan wants to destroy you. And then Peter opened his big mouth. And Peter said, Lord, I hear what you say. Okay. But if everybody else leave you, yeah. I'm willing to die with you. Yeah. And if you read it, that's uh, Luke 22 of Isaiah 31 through about 34. Jesus tell me, he said, before the cock crow.
saved and still need to be delivered, right? Amen. 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 Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm in the right house, dear huh? You can be saved. You can, have, you can be loving God. You can be loving. And there's some areas in your life that you still need to deliver. Yes, sir. deliverance. I'm just making points. Peter needed deliverance because his mouth was saying one thing, but in a few, in a few hours his actions going to prove something different. We talk a lot about how safe we are. But the rubber meets the road when it's time to put foot to action. And can I tell y'all, and I don't mean to burst nobody's bubble, but, but, but preaching and serving is not always the answer. Because we have to have a personal relationship with God. We have to dedicate our, we, we got to become new creatures. In Christ. Yes. Girl, you ain't changed a bit. <laughs> and you got Jesus on the inside, something won't change. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But Peter was talking and did that. He said, Lord, if everybody else leaves, look at all them suckers right there. If they all leave you, I won't go nowhere. Before the clock, before the roof crow, uh, you're gonna say three times you never do me. Yes, uh, and y'all yes, do know if you're scripture reading that when the pressure was put on me, uh, I don't know the man. Yes, sir. I ain't never hung with the man. Yes, and then he got some explicit and started saying some extra yes, stuff yeah. to make it plain. Yeah. You know how sometimes I'm gonna lay my religion down and cuss you out and pick it back up. You know that that little type of Christian. Yes, <laughs> Ain't none of it here. I'm just talking about I met a couple of who who say that they are children of God and had more explicit than a than a saint. But God had a root reboot in mind for Peter, and He's got one for you and me. Oh, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm closing right about that. And Peter, after he had done what he done, Jesus stopped and looked at him. Like I told you what you were getting ready to do. And the Bible said Peter ran off and wept. And felt like that he had, he had done so wrong that he could never be reinstated. Can I tell you that the enemy would use a mistake? Yes, yes, yes. But let me tell you, hold on, hold on. There's a difference between a mistake and a habit. Uh -huh. All right. uh -huh. A mistake is when you do it and it caught you off guard, but you ain't planning on doing it again. Right. A habit is that you uh -huh. know you've done it, right. and you intend to do it again. Right. And again. So Peter gets his friends and say, hey, that's Luke, that's, that's uh, St. John 21 now. He said, hey, I'm going fishing. I am going back. I'm going back to my old occupation. I'm going back to my old lifestyle. Because this church thing ain't working. I done, I done disappointed God so bad that I'm going back fishing. And the Bible said that when he said it, some other folk went with him. Yes. Oh, yeah. can, I, can I tell you that sometimes when you make decisions like that, you pull other people with you? Yes, yes sir. Oh, yes. Amen. Hey, when, you, when you decide to do wrong, that it ain't just about you. All right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Because there are some people that will never see God besides for the God in you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. 
with Tyree said, when he said, I'm going free, so other people went with him. You know, I'm going to tell you what I do know. Uh, you don't need you don't need a whole lot of people uh, to do wrong, because everybody wants to do wrong. Amen. It takes some special people to go with you when you try to do the right thing. Amen. Amen. That's why the songwriter said, friends get few sometimes. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't even know who your friends are, but we need to check them and go through the roller decks of your friends and see who you're hanging with in the hallway and see if they right. if they influence you or you influence me. All right, yes, amen, amen, yes. I can talk to the young men. I can I can't talk to some of the older people because they grow. Yeah. But look at what happened here. I'm, I'm finished. Y'all, y'all want me to hoop and holler, but I ain't ready for that right now. You know, you know what God told me. He said, "I'll allow you to hoop and holler when they start operating and doing what, what you've been teaching." Because it's easy. Ain't he all right? He, you know, we can do that. You can practice that.
the water. I've got some friends that's still in the water. As a matter of fact, I still got some enemies in the water. And even God says there might be somebody in the church in the water. Children's ministry. Maybe you need to be an adult ministry. Yeah, amen. 
no testimony. If you're in the building today, if you want to come to the altar, the altar is open to make your confession to God. The altar is open for salvation for those of you who are not saved. The altar is open for your heart's desire. For every need for you or your family or your friends or whoever it might be. You don't have to tell the preacher about it. You tell God about it. Because God knows and he cares. As we come to this altar, you know exactly what you need from God, what you believe in God for. And even if I don't, as we pray together, if I don't get what you're, what you're praying for, you know that God already knows. Because I'm, 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 I'm finite, but God is almighty. He knows everything. Don't have to pull oil on nobody. Don't have to try to push you down on the ground. Just believe. The scripture said all things are possible to him that will believe. Do you believe that God is able to honor your request? Do you, do you believe that he's able to fix? What's broke? Do you really believe that he's able to recruit you and give you another chance to, to serve and minister and do the things that God would have us do? Father, yes, we believe. Lord, give us the help of salvation. 
that we can wear it proudly. That we can guard our mind, God, that when all kind of thoughts try to come in, the helmet of salvation will remind us who we are and whose we are. And as I close this prayer, God, I, I ask you, Lord God, I lift up every grandparent today, God, since it's grandparents' day. I pray for the grandparents today, God. I ask you, Lord God, that you would help them to continue to play the role that they play in the lives of their grandchildren and their children. I ask you, God, that you would keep them. You would give them wisdom. And let them share that wisdom, even if their children and their grandchildren don't want to hear it. And we call them in today, God. We pray that, Lord God, that we have some of our children, God, who are dealing with some things that, Lord God, is hard to break. But Lord, we know that you can break it because you broke it in our lives. We pray that in the name of Jesus, for peace in our home, God, that we don't have to lay awake at night wondering if everything is going to be all right. But I declare, Lord God, it's already all right because you reboot us. And as I close this prayer, Remember the finances of your people, Lord God. Don't let them be fearful. Let them be faithful. And we thank you right now. That the scripture declared, I've never seen the righteous one say, Lord, his seed came in bread. Because even with a little Lord God, you're still God. Father, we believe in you for a rule of God. In our home and in our lives and in the midst of our church family. And Lord, if I missed anything that I should have prayed for while my brothers and sisters are praying, we never need according to your riches and glory. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. And all of God's people said amen. When you minister to somebody while you stand that all, sometimes a word of encouragement from you, testimony of what you can tell.
ourselves we're giving. I want to say this and I want you to hear it as it is. When Jesus came where Mary Martha was, when Lazarus had died, Jesus didn't go around to oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. His request was, show me where you laid it. Yeah. My last point, and I promise I won't say no more besides for the ushers to come. But in the spirit realm, God is saying that you need to go for those of you this is for, you need to go get your shovel. Go back to where you buried that talent. And you need to dig it up. You need to get it out of the napkin. And you need to work it. Because night is coming. when no man can work. I don't care how young or how old you are. God has called us all for a purpose. And it ain't time for retirement. It's, a, it's time to get about our father's business. there's a shovel that you need to get. And you need to go back to that place where you say you quit. Where you say I'm going to put it right here and I ain't going to try to do that no more. You need, to, you need to unearth it. You need to take it out. Then you need to start working. Because the reward of working for God and having you outweighs anything that you've experienced. The ushers are coming now. We ask that you give as the Lord has prospered you. We do know that you can't give nothing that you don't have. But if God is challenging you to give, then you give as God will tell you to give. Amen? Amen. They're going to bless us with musical, with some music and the ushers are coming.
back to you that you have blessed us with. In the spirit of obedience, Lord God, we have given to you. Lord God, that you have blessed us with. Now, Lord God, I pray for every giver, everyone that had a desire to give. Father, I pray a special blessing upon our ushers who are serving and working in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the doorkeepers, Lord. And I just praise you and I give you glory. That a hundredfold will come back. Oh, yeah. In Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 At this Lord. time, we're going to turn it over. We want the service over for our announcement. Uh, Sister Ferguson will bless us for our announcement. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Reboot. Thank you, Lord. What a message. Reboot. I need a reboot this morning. Yeah. And I thank you, thank you, Pastor, for that message. Thank you. For that teaching. Thank you. I thank all of the deep reboot. So yeah. yes, the announcement. Sorry. Pastor Pippen will be uh, in revival September the 13th from 7 at 7 p.m. at Mount Holly MB Church. There will be no Bible study. <coughs> Shallow annual revival will begin on Sunday, September the 17th. Our guest preacher will be Reverend James Brown Man. and Light of the World Church family. Man. Service begins at 5 p.m. On Sunday, September the 24th, our guest preacher will be Reverend Jeffrey Pearson. New Vision uh, Church family service yeah. will begin at 3 p.m. Yeah. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Shallow Baptist Missionary Baptist Church proudly presents our annual musical extravaganza on Saturday, September 30th at 3 p.m. Please come and join us as we lift up the name of Jesus in song and praise. Featuring Emmanuel Borgin, Tiffany Crawford, Barry and Company, Barbara McKissick, Mesa Mora Baptist Praise Team, and E. Ecclesia. 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 Praise the Bank. Please contact Brenda General if there is any questions. And it is that time again for our annual homecoming. This year we are doing a 50 state rally. We are asking for everyone to choose a state of their choice. After choosing your state, we are asking for $100 to represent your state. You may ask family, friends to help you raise your money. And yes, you can raise more than $100. Uh, so let's get excited and do your best, do our best to represent the state that we choose. You have until November the 12th to turn in your money. Thank you in advance, the Homecoming Committee. Just a reminder, Sunday school starts at 9 a.m., morning service 10 a.m. Communion is every first Sunday, and Bible study prayer meeting is every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And that is the announcement. Just informed that the adult choir will rehearse Saturday at 11 o'clock. So, anybody at the choir, adult choir, please be on time. Be here at 11 o'clock. Thank y'all. I'd like to announce that the youth Sunday school will reboot on October 1st. <laughs> Night at Mount Holly, there will be a combined choir 
that will be there to sing at the revival starting at 7 o'clock at Mount Holly. Uh, we are asking those of you who are able and willing to drive over to Mount Holly that we might be able to render service there on Wednesday evening at 7. Uh, one thing I find out that supporting other people, sometimes God will send it right back to you to support our own because we are uh, having uh, two different uh, speakers coming on two different Sundays. That's next Sunday at 5 o'clock and then the following Sunday at 3 o'clock for our revival. I was trying to be considerate and not doing it at night so that everybody would be able to come back and give you enough time to go eat dinner, lunch, whatever, and be able to make it back. But I'm, I'm praying that you don't get full and go to sleep and don't come back. <laughs> I'm that, you, that you would set the clock so you can be back uh, to help us as we lift up the name of Jesus doing our revival. Just something a little bit different than what we normally do because sometimes you can get stuck in a rut. Yes, and so sometimes just to reboot even the things and the way you do things uh, would be a blessing. So uh, on next Sunday at 5 o'clock, uh, Reverend James Brown and, the, uh, and his church family will be here with us uh, to render service. And it would, it would not look real good for us to invite other folk and they show up and we don't. Amen. And I'm challenging, I'm challenging every member of the church. If you got your name on the church roll and you're able to be here, I'm challenging you to come. Amen. 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 Because there's a word from the Lord through these men of God that's coming because I didn't just randomly pick these men. I prayed over them. And this is what God is saying. And I thank God uh, that they both said yes. Uh, we're going to close, but I want to thank, personally thank Minister Wheeler for the word on last Sunday. We're standing in the I want to thank Reverend Johnson for conducting our communion time. Uh, I want to thank God uh, for Evangelist Johnson teaching Bible study on last Wednesday. Uh, just so many people that are that were able to help so that we were able to go home and enjoy family. And it was a blessing to be able to see family members that I haven't seen because uh, I haven't been home since my mom passed three years ago. Mm -hmm. This was the first time I was able to go home and, and where we were, uh, the, the graveyard is right across the street. Mm -hmm. But the Lord would not allow me to go over there because my mom is not there. So Amen. 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 See, so many people are walking out on the grave at the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Mom ain't there. Amen. The, the, the shell that she lived in right. yes, sir. is there. Yes, sir. Yes. But that ain't her. Yes, sir. Amen. So the Bible said, we don't die. Mm. All right. Yes, so we spent we spend too much time in the graveyard oh. yes. and not enough time to live. And can I tell y'all something else? I don't care how many people stand over here, stand up here talking about uh, you going to heaven. If you don't live right, uh, yes. say so. Right. If you haven't repented, say if so. you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, uh, uh, heaven is not your home. Amen. Uh, and we all we, we on Facebook talking about happy, happy heavenly birthday. You'll never, you'll never see nobody say happy hell birthday. Yeah. <laughs> because you can't live, you can't live any kind of way and think you're just gonna go to heaven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. My last thing, and I'll be done. If, if there's ever a time where Christians need to stand up, it is now. Yeah. Yes. While I was home, God allowed me to get a chance to travel to. Louisiana to go to Bourbon Street. Yeah. And in that area uh, right there. Uh, and I saw, and if Sodom and Gomorrah yes, was anything worse than this, Jesus. the mm -hmm. Lord has seen to come. Yes. Jesus. I believe that. Mm -hmm. And we busy, we busy, we busy yeah. in church. Nobody and nobody's speaking up for the cause of right. Mm, yeah. right. We we talk about we keep talking about in the church love is love. No, love ain't love. Well, 
when it comes down to what God said is not right. And I don't care, I don't care how many times we try to try to make it justified. If it ain't right, it's not right. But, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, we seeing, we seeing men walk around in thongs like women. Yeah. I ain't talking about in a club. I'm talking about walking down the street. Yeah. <laughs> Where men are dressed up and looking prettier than some women. Amen. Amen. In every corner you walk around, you get the hint of marijuana hitting you in the face. Mm -hmm. Y'all talking about Pastor, how you know? Because I done been sick. Right. 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 Where you got where you got people standing outside the club saying, come on in here. <laughs> you know, almost like an invite. Yeah. And these were not children. These were 60 and 70 year old men. And the church is silent and everybody. Ah! Y'all do know that there was one man that while he was building an ark. Oh, <laughs> was telling everybody it's gonna rain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and if I and, and if I can use this pulpit, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take an anointing off of him and tell y'all it's gonna rain again. It's gonna yes, rain. It's coming. Yeah. It's gonna rain. It's coming. Yeah. But it won't be water. All right. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Yeah. You don't know that with Jesus. All hearts and minds clear. Brother Stephon, it's good to see you. Uh, Elder wanted everybody to know that, there, that he has some sweet potatoes. If anyone desire to take a couple of bags home with you, you can bake them, you can make potato pie. Uh, if you can cook potato pie, just call me after you get it. Uh, please make sure you see him that he might be able to share with you. He wants to share them with you. So please, uh, if you're able to take them off his hands so you have to bake all of them and eat them off. Yeah. Let us close in prayer. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we do thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Yeah. Thank you for allowing us to come together this morning to fellowship and to worship. Lord, we didn't come to beat nobody up. We came to declare yeah. the truth. Yeah. And Lord, let the truth set us free. Yeah. I love you and I bless your name and I give you praise. Be with us all, God. Watch over, Lord God, those that will be traveling. I pray that you would keep them safe and sound. Yeah. That, Lord God, those that are absent from the from the church this morning, Lord God, that whatever the reason is, you took you cover them and keep them. Lord. And, Lord God, bring us back together again that we might be able to worship and fellowship. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just thank you. We give you glory. Now, may the grace of God and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit will rest and abide with us now and forever. Thank and all of God's people said amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, praise him for jumping in and helping us out.